Okay, I got three commercials with Pride 2021 for Pride 2021. Let's react to them and see if this has anything to do with any products that any of them sell. Or is it just pointless virtue pandering signaling bullshit? Actually, the last video, I don't know if it's a commercial for anything or if it's just a thing. Anyway, together we can... Okay, we started in with dramatic piano music. The legacy of Pride has told us that all of our issues are connected, which means we all have- Okay. That... When that little snippet was taken, you had a point. That time is long past. Please name me a state where a... Gay couple cannot get married. I will wait. You know, there was a woman, Kim Davis, who went to jail for not doing her job. Or actually, I won't say her job. Jobs are voluntary. She didn't do her duty. The reason I say duty and not job is she swore an oath to do that. Have a stake in this fight together. In her Again, if, if the government passes a law that I morally object to, and I'm in a position where I will have to do something that I morally find reprehensible. I will resign my position. There's a, there's a reason why I came down on the side of Masterpiece Cake Shop. Just go to another fucking bakery. They're a private business. They can do what they want. And I went against Kim Davis. She's a government employee. You only have the one fucking government. She swore an oath to do something that she was elected to do. That guy just opened up a bakery to make cakes. Partnership in community, we have so much more strength. Together, we can be better advocates. Together, we can. Oh, Jesus Christ, you've gotten everything you want. God, what more do you want? Heal historical trauma. Together, we. Oh, my God, heal from historical trauma. Shut up! If it didn't happen to you, it matters no nothing to you. So I get so annoyed when people bring what, 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 what about slavery? Shut up! Unless you're 170 years old, shut up about slavery. We can stop climate change. Hi, my name is. How? How does accepting LGBTQ people have jack and shit? to do with climate change. I, okay, does men giving other men blowjobs turn down the temperature? What? Jean, this is Queenie. And they are my mentor. I work at API Legal Outreach. We do a lot of helping survivors of domestic violence and teen dating violence. Queenie is an Okay, I applaud your efforts. Do you have anything for men in that pool or is it just women? Amazing example of the Or actually no, let me get let me go a step further. Do you have anything for straight men? The type of like leadership that we've been, you know, cultivating. Where I grew up limited me a lot in terms of how I viewed the world. I really expanded that worldview. Jean reassured me I can continue my work as a social advocate. There is a lifelong commitment to become movement makers. Yeah, you just usually get more annoying as you go on. I am and again, you have a point, but what are you doing to solve the problem? I mean, literally, there's three ways you could solve let's say, vi domestic violence. One is utterly impractical, and that's don't have people live together. The other one is impossible, and that's somehow reprogram domestic abusers. And third is, uh, what I think the best solution is, is... Uh, you want to make sure women are protected on dates? Give them guns. Candy, and this is Chico. He is my two-spirit loved one. We worked... What? 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 Hey, 
Huh? I, I, allow me a moment. I have to back up. He is my Two-Spirit loved one. We work together for the Two-Spirit people. Two-Spirit is an umbrella term that encompasses the fluidity of gender and orientation. Our work is you. Um, I, I don't believe people have one spirit, let alone two. But if they did, they'd only have one spirit. What, what, what the hell is, oh, fuck it. Unique. We're here to serve our community, and it's difficult to create unity in the community when you're told you cannot, you should not, you will not. Our ceremony. Who the hell is telling you that? All I'm saying is usually two spirit people also say they have the spirit of a wolf in them. Well, you can't be a fucking wolf have been impacted by colonization now now if it's just stupid ass religion well then yeah you do you i don't care what your religious beliefs are and with that our ancestors have learned homophobia oh my god colonization <sighs> okay via so to decolonize these ceremonies it means mending our sacred circles yeah um the particular group of people that he is representing forgive me but ripped people's hearts out and held them up to the crowd because it it made their gods happy and honoring two spirit people in those sacred spaces I'm Teresa, I work at Microsoft, and I'm an environmental activist. And this is my eco-warrior friend, Grace. It's important to expose people to nature because they won't fight for what they don't know. Uh, Teresa and I share so much of the same beliefs. Yeah, except um, just one problem. I've heard shit like this my entire life. You remember the 90s? You must. Remember, the ozone layer was supposed to be gone by now and we're all living in an irradiated hellscape? Did that happen? No. You know, what are you guys going to do if global warming is essentially a non-issue? What about... What do you do then? Oh, that's right. You're going to bitch about something else. And by the way, I'm using global warming, which is the last term. It used to be called climate. Now it's called climate change because, you know, the climate's changed for, well, since the earth got started. And uh, by the way, you know the time of the dinosaurs when man was still about, oh, 65 million years off, the planet was a great deal hotter than it is now. You know, maybe we're just gearing up for an ice age. I'm just saying, I I think it's, Amer it's human hubris to assume that we can do anything against nature. When you really think about it. Look at the coronavirus. It's one trillionth our size and kicked the living crap out of us. System. We support each other, we protest together, and we see things that need to be done to preserve the environment. And One of you should remember the 1970s scare of a new ice age. And then we make it a point to go back and do that. We have to build unity, we have to build community. We aren't really a lone individual. Well, look, um, I can build unity and community with you. If you have reasonable, sensible solutions that don't involve me going Amish or vegan. We're really all together. We have created a community beyond our own reach. Everything's connected. It's important that we find these connections, you know, across race, gender, you know, sexuality, where issues are housing issues. Except if you're a straight white male, in which burn in hell. Issues. Trans issues can be anti-poverty, ending sexism and misogyny. Together, we... Oh, God. Ending sexism and misogyny. The only guys that are misogynistic are like seven hardcore gay dudes in San Francisco. Okay, misogyny means hating women.
Please find me a straight man that hates women. Usually we would like to have sex with them. If they are willing. Now some straight men don't really care if they're willing. <laughs> but most of us do. Yeah, misogyny doesn't exist. Just because I criticize a woman doesn't mean I'm a misogynist. Can create hope for the next generation. We could disrupt the system. How? How, uh, how are you going to do that with this? How are your little decolonizing ceremonies going to do something? How are you bitching about the environment going to do anything? The only one that is actually doing anything for anyone is the middle couple. Because they're actually helping people that are facing a real problem. Yes, I will concede domestic abuse is a real problem. Yes, it is underreported among men, but yes, it more commonly happens to women. Again, I don't want to I don't want to get into a philosophical debate. I'm going with reported numbers. Um, together we can succeed. But what the fuck does this have to do with goddamn Microsoft at all? Speed. And what did this have to do with LGBTQ whatever? Oh, God, woke advertising causes me a headache. This is Levi's Pride commercial. Before I get into it, I need another beer. All right, this is pre, uh, Levi, uh, all prone, uh, whatever, I don't care what it's called. Okay, so we got a woman walking on the beach. God, I wish Jaws would show up. Please, Jaws, show up. Please, Jaws. Just let go of whatever you think you know. We've been on this earth for a blink of a... Okay, so we have a chick running in the water with her clothes on, guy running in with jeans on, and a chick topless. Can the two women go at it while they are in the water, please, and make this at least worthwhile for me? Of an eye. <laughs> How could we expect to understand everything? Who the hell said we understand everything? Oh, wait! That's usually leftist woke idiots that say they understand everything. Usually about 20 to 22 and in college. Usually taking gender studies courses. Gender and... Can, can, can we see more of the <coughs> chick in the shorts and wet t-shirt and uh, topless chick? Pretty, pretty, pretty please. <laughs> Tell you what, do that. Have them making out, and I won't. I won't give a shit what you say. An identity is not static. Uh, it's kind of static. If you were born male, you're male. If you're born female, you're female. Everything else is pretend. So much can be broken down and dissolved. It's so beautiful when things get rebuilt. Can we see the two chicks, please? Trans people are magic. <laughs> How are trans people magic? You went to a doctor. Full stop. It's amazing growing up in this generation. Oh, crap. I might have just wanted to see two trans chicks make out. Okay, keep the pants on. Everything is so fluid. No, gender is not fluid. You are what you say you are. You are... Jesus Christ. You are what you were born. The rest is cosmetic bullshit. 
There is history, but at the same time, that's also creating history. I'm doing this even if I don't get to enjoy this. It's a gift. Um, no, you would not enjoy being a man if you were born a woman again. You willing to go to the trough? I'll just let that sink in. To the next generation. Being able to see all of these amazing people who have been themselves in a world that's so not accepting really inspires me to be. If the world is so not accepting, why the fuck does this commercial exist? You are not oppressed. No gay person is oppressed. No lesbian is oppressed. No bi person is oppressed. No straight person is oppressed. No trans person is oppressed. No one is oppressed. There is no law preventing you doing you. Now, yes, we might have some laws that say a man can't compete against a woman because, you know, that's unfair. And I also believe that we should have the decision to become trans left up to 18-year-olds. I'd say 21, but at 18, you can join the fucking military. No, I don't believe trans should be in the military and that has nothing to do with me being a dick to trans but then again do we let diabetics in the military either the answer is no we don't you need to be on drugs to be come to do your transition and the military cannot guarantee you with the supply of the drug you need But please tell me how you're so fucking oppressed when one of the largest goddamn companies in the fucking United States of America makes a commercial that that is for less than 1% of the population. You're not oppressed. Any oppression you fucking have is in your goddamn head. Be exactly who I want to be. My liberation is wrapped up in your liberation. You are liberated right now, today, while you are frolicking on the beach. Do you think you're free? Well, you're not until I am. No, I'm free. So are you, unless you've committed a crime since making this commercial. You are free. I am free. We are both free. Let's embrace change so that we can open ourselves up to learning and be- I'm fine with change, but change that has some basis in logic and reality. You can't just magically change your gender. Again, then I can magically decide that I'm a 13-year-old schoolgirl. Why not? Or actually, no, I'll, I'll decide I'm a 14-year-old schoolboy so I can get some hot, hot-ass fucking middle school teacher to fuck the shit out of me. I mean, if you can change your gender, why can't you change your age? Why can't I change my species to, let's say, oh, a crocodile? So if I kill someone, I can't be tried for it. Being in better relationship with each other. And again, this had exactly fuck all to do with jeans. And this will sell nothing. And by the way, you know, anyway. You know, I will say at least this wasn't that bad. This one, I'm, I, this one, you know what? I'm going to say this one wasn't that bad. It was, it was pandering and pretentious and fucking stupid. But it wasn't as bad as the others that I've seen for woke commercials anyway this is do i offend you pride month 2021 all right it's 
this selling something or okay um that's i believe harvey milk he had a point you don't have a point anymore have you ever thought twice about holding your partner's hand in public no And this scene was a long time ago. Again, society has changed for the better. If two guys are holding hands right now today, does anyone care? Oh, the answer is no. Okay, to be fair, 95% of people don't care. You'll have some 5% asshole getting all pissed off about it but he usually gets told to shut the fuck up Unless these people would have been alive for that, uh, it should mean less than nothing to you. God, the punk scene has fallen. I'm proud of who I am. Proud to be lesbian. Okay. Great. No one cares. Like that, that. Okay, and outside of zero discrimination, what do you face? Oh, that's right, nothing. Okay. Good. Wonderful. You're so oppressed, yet you made this video. Um, what the hell? What the fuck does queer mean? I still don't know. Are you a lesbian? Are you bi? You gay? Straight? Those are like your options. Queer is some shit you made up. Uh, non-binary doesn't exist. Pansexuality does not exist. You're bi. What's wrong with being bi? Uh, you people don't offend me. This terrible song offends me. No. This horrible song does. No. Pride means being proud of who we are and what we do. What do you do? Like, okay, let's take you. If you're a doctor, then yes, be proud of what you do. But if the only thing you can take pride in is the fact that you sleep with whatever genitals, there's nothing to be proud of in that. Yana, mobile operations manager. Okay, take pride in that. Share the service administrator. Okay, take pride in whatever the hell that is. Signaler. Take pride in that. Hey, hey, engineering verification manager. I have no idea what that is, but take pride in that. Okay, this is fine. Okay, this is actually the first pride video that hasn't made me cringe to shit. This is fine. 
Okay, they're gay, lesbian, straight, whatever the fuck. But that's not who they are. See, when I get annoyed is when being gay is your entire identity. So that's where I'm going to end this one. There's no more need for me to go on with it. So that wraps up this motherfucker.